All right, welcome back. So uh, today's project, I'm going to do a quick uh, explanation of how I uh, patch things like this where they get totally rusted out. Basically, I'll make a patch that will be this here and curved one piece to weld in there. But it's just it's just how I do it, and pretty simple, not a big deal. All said and done, you can do this patch, make the template for it, and make it. Have it welded in less than an hour, easily. Not a big deal. Anybody can do it. So, here we go. You can see the uh, rust hole there. And then there is, they put fiberglass on the outside there. In this case, what I like to do on uh, curved pieces and other stuff like that, put a bunch of tape on there, come back with a knife, and just kind of cut around, cut out what you don't want. Peel this off, stick it onto your piece of metal, and then cut that out, and there's your piece. And what's nice about the tape is it, it will help uh, conform to the contours a little better. And uh, it'll actually hold the shape if you get enough tape on there. It works pretty good. But I'm going to go with the tape method, because I'm just going to make a piece to go in here. I'll make it a little big, and then I'll come back, trim it, trim it, trim it, make it fit. And go from there. And unveil the horror underneath, and now I have my template right there. That's all it takes. That easy. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a line here, cut out a piece that's essentially the same shape as this, so I can set a larger piece on here and clamp it down. And then once that's clamped down, then I can take this edge that's hanging out in your free space and bend it over the edge. So... I have a bandsaw. I have two bandsaws. They're both buried. It's easier to go with the handheld uh, wood elf tools right now. So that's where we're going to go. And uh, yeah, yeah, it just, here we go. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of jumping around there, but uh, I'm going to take a piece of oak, and I'm going to make this basically the same curve, give or take, and this will be the piece we put on top to clamp down. Oak's just a little harder. So now, imagine that's our piece. We set it here, put that there, put that there, clamp it all nice and tight, and just beat it over. I hope for the best. But before that, I'm going to take and put a tiny radius on here. Um, I actually do that by hand. I just want to break this corner off. Since the metal can't make a 90 degree turn, you need, to, you need a little bit of a curve. And then the factory was curved too. So, Okay. Did some cutting, did some all that. Here's our new piece. This is the original piece that I is going to cut out. It's still in reserve. That's a, the plan A one, but now we've got our piece cut. Got a little radius there. So I'm just going to pull this off to the edge here for the moment. I'm going to set that on there. And then we'll set this on top. And if I had been smart, I would actually set it up and put a couple screws in it to help hold it. But uh, I, I didn't do that. Okay, a handful of stuff. Now, this is an old, really cheap hammer. I have no idea where my good one is. So I keep using this because I don't want to buy another one of my good ones that has some nice big round heads. I hope it shows up, but I'm not really optimistic at this point. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, just beat it over. That's not a hammer. It's not a hammer on a piece of steel. It's okay. I can misuse my tools all I want. They're my tools. Okay. 
And then we have something that looks kind of an approximation of a piece that should go into place. And hopefully the curve is real close. And, but uh, don't be afraid of making stuff like this. It's not that big a deal. This is a piece of MDF, a piece of oak, and just scrap pieces of wood, cut a curve in it, sandwich it in there, beat it over. It's not that hard to do. Now, if you got a shrinker and stretcher, you can make this go this way and this way and this way and this way. I don't have one of those yet. Yet being the operative word. So uh, we'll go over and see how this fits on the car. Okay, I uh, did a bunch of trimming and we're back. And uh, we'll see how we're doing here. And basically, it's not bad. It's gonna work. That's kind of where we're sitting at the moment. Now, if I had a shrinker and a stretcher and some other tools, I could make it perfect. But you know what? This is a wheelhouse. You weld this up here. You weld that up. You weld that up. You sand it out. It's not going to have that quite that little bump in it right in here. Who cares? Nobody's going to see it. Quarter panel is going to go over this. You know, the only guy going to see it is the undercoating. That's it. So... Basically, that's where we are. It needs a little bit of tweaking, but that's because I just I can either do it with hammer and dolly, or I can tack it, bend it in place, because there is a little bit of bending that you got to do this way. But it'll work, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tack this into place and go ahead and weld it. I don't think there's any reason for me to film this welding it in, you know. You guys, people have seen stuff welded in all the time, so I don't know. We'll see. But that's where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and start putting this into place, and uh, we'll call it good. And then after that, we'll be doing the same thing down here. I won't film that because you've seen this. But that's uh, where we are. Okay, so uh, this is where we end up after I've made that patch we made earlier. Made the patch, put it in here, rolls up underneath here, so you've got the lip here as well. Uh, I blended it out a little bit. It's not perfect. It doesn't need to be. I, in fact, I didn't have to grind off that much. I should have just left it on there, to be honest, because you leave it on there. It's a little stronger, a little thicker. doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see it. And i uh, done a few little patches here and there. There were some tiny little spots. You just make it up bigger and uh, weld it up, thicken up that whole area. Did a little bit down there as well. Um... But yeah, there we are. Works pretty good. I mean, anybody can do this. I mean, this is not rocket surgery or anything like that. It's it's not hard. Now, the really interesting thing, let me get really close. See this little hole right here. That hole is actually a punched hole. This is the same kind of hole that you would have on... Actually, the closest thing I have is right here. Okay, this is the liners or the... You know the shields now if you see that little hole right there that is punched with the same tool that somebody punched that with so somebody took this outer wheelhouse went over to the machine and purposely punched a screw hole in it just to make it leak yeah thanks guys so yeah you know it's just typical unfortunately so you know, that's why actually, that's why this rusted out. So the water came up, up here. This is almost a quarter inch hole, actually. So what I'll do on this is just, um, I'm going to, I'll leave this in place. I will not grind that off. Leave it in place. It gives you some meat. You just weld it up. I'll clean it from both sides. Just weld the hole up, smooth it off. It doesn't really matter. No biggie. It'll be fixed when I'm done. But... You know, it's just stuff like that, just childish stuff like that they did was very annoying. So, oh yeah, the other really interesting thing is I will be tapping this down and welding this, unlike the factory. And on the passenger side, something to keep an eye out for is this piece right here. On the passenger side, there was one weld barely on the edge. I mean, just barely hanging on. It'd be barely attached it at all. This one's a little better. But after I blast this whole thing, I'll come back and put a little, 
you know, weld here and there just to strengthen it up a little bit. So, yeah, there we are. All finished. So, after I patch uh, the bottom half on the right, we will uh, get this all set up to be blasted and primed and uh, put some uh, sound deadening material on it. And uh, we'll be ready to start fitting the quarter panel back on permanently. Thank <laughs> you.